Hey guys, Ferris Technology here. I'm gonna show you guys how to restore an iCloud backup file. Now this will work with uh, essentially any iPad or iPhone. So I have an iPad mini here, which I'll be doing it with. So first thing you wanna do is to factory reset your device. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll include a link below on how to do that. So once you've done your factory reset, what you wanna do is do the full startup process right here. So select your language of English or whichever you want to. Um, I'm in Canada, so I'm gonna select Canada. If you're anywhere else, obviously select that country. And now you wanna connect it to a Wi-Fi network. This is really important because uh, to restore your backup, you're gonna to wanna to have it connected to Wi-Fi. If you have it connected to a tethered data device, it will use quite a bit of data depending on your actual uh, restore file. But for the most part, connect it to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna do that. So we'll connect it to my network called Maya. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my password in. Once my password's in, I hit join and it's gonna just do its connecting process here. And there you go, may take a few minutes to activate. Um, obviously it doesn't take a few minutes, but uh, here we go. So we wanna go um, type in your Apple ID in which your iCloud backup file is associated with. So go ahead and type in your Apple ID. So once you've typed in your Apple ID and hit next, it's gonna say device ready. Um, it's gonna ask me if I wanna insert a SIM if you have a SIM card iPad. I don't need to, so I'm just gonna hit continue. Um, enable location services, sure, if you wanna do that, you can. And now, this is the important part right here. So it's gonna say set as new iPad, restore iCloud backup, or restore iTunes backup. We're gonna restore the iCloud backup, obviously. So we're gonna select that. And it's gonna ask me to sign in again to my iCloud ID, which is also my Apple ID. So we're gonna sign in again to that. So once you've signed in and hit next, it's gonna ask you to agree to the terms. We're gonna go ahead and agree. And now it's gonna search for my iTunes backup files or my iCloud backup files. So let's see what it finds here. There we go, choose backup. So I wanna actually restore the backup file um, that was from my iPad Air. So you can see the last time my iPad Air backed up was yesterday at 12, 10 p.m. Um, or today that would be actually. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and select that because that's the backup file that I wanna restore. Now, a lot of you, if you didn't properly back up your iTunes or your iCloud um, backup file before, then you're gonna see no backup files here. But you wanna make sure if you've already done that, um, then this will allow you to see your latest backup files. So we're gonna go ahead and select yesterday at 12 p.m. And then it's gonna go through its whole restore process. Now, depending on the size of your backup and how many pictures and apps and stuff that you have, um, the time will uh, vary. So um, just let it do its thing. Like I said, might take up to half an hour or so. Don't be alarmed if that's how long it takes. That just means your file is a bigger backup file. So let that go through its process. Once it's done that process, it's gonna to go to your main screen and it may ask, uh, allow you to download all the apps again. So it will probably show up with all the apps and it'll one by one download those as well. So once you've done that, you're all done and that's it. Enjoy your restore. Bye-bye.